You're watching the Summer Olympics, and as you watch the Olympics, many athletes deal with injuries. Today we're joined by UBMD Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Dr. Brian McGrath. And Dr. McGrath, you deal specifically with hips, don't you? Correct. And with arth hip arthroscopy and hip arthroplasty, tell me the difference between the two. Well, arthroscopy is a way to visualize the hip through very small, basically not microscopic, but small portals like fiber optics. So we can get in there and actually correct the problems that the athletes have. And arthroplasty is what you do with older people with arthritis, that their hip is completely worn out, they can't get around very well because of the pain, and you replace the ball and socket joint. I would imagine every athlete in the Olympics deals with hip issues because the hip plays such an important role in our athletics. Uh, absolutely. As, as most people know, when you're running, you're off the ground at one point and you land on the other, on your down leg. Uh, and when you make that contact, it requires all the muscles and the joint to work together to carry you forward to the next stride. So when you strike off, you know, off balance, you'll tend to tear things and you can injure your hip fairly significantly. Hips and hamstrings seem to go hand in hand, don't they? Yes. Well, the hamstring is one of the biggest muscles in the body. It stops you from moving forward. It helps you going upstairs. So it's injured in, in many, many different things that we do in athlete. How important is it to protect the hip joint as an athlete? Well, you should protect all the joints and you should you know, work within your own normal range of motion for your hip. Uh, but you want to you know, seek attention if you're having hip pain because there are things that can be done relatively early and easily that will prevent long-term problems with your hip. Any pain in a young athlete wouldn't be natural, would it? No, but pain from muscle strains can go away fairly quickly. So if you get something like you just had a, you felt a tweak in your hip or your knee, and you could walk it off, and we should try and walk it off. It's those that persist for you know, hours, days, or weeks that really should seek attention for. Or certainly if you can't walk after you've had the injury, then you should seek attention immediately. It has to be exciting in your field. The treatment of hip injuries has changed dramatically over the past 10 years. Oh, absolutely. And when I first started back in the mid-90s, I actually started doing arthroscopy, and at that point we had very rudimentary tools. At this point, we're using, even using computer navigation and high, high technological aspects of it to replace or you know, repair the damaged portions of the hip. I would say that this is absolutely a gold medal interview today. Yes. Thank you very yes. much. Thanks for bringing the skeleton. Yeah. If you have any type of injury, sports related or not, the doctors and staff at UBMD Orthopedics and Sports Medicine are here to help. You can find out more about all their services they provide and their locations on their website, which is ubortho.com. They provide trusted orthopedic care for bones, joints, muscles, and concussions. Now, here's what's still to come on tonight's Ozone.